now see first theorem of parallel axis. So, to get the moment of inertia of the different bodies about the different axes we have to use uh, we have to use theorems. First one is the theorem of parallel axis. Suppose a rigid body is like this, you have got a rigid body. This is the center of mass and an axis is passing through center of mass and this axis is suppose it is named as x and y. Now, if you want to get moment of inertia about an axis a b, which is parallel to this axis passing through the center of mass and at a perpendicular distance of suppose h, mass of the rigid body is m. So, you can write according to this parallel axis theorem, moment of inertia about an axis a b is equal to moment of inertia i x y, moment of inertia about an axis passing through center of mass plus product of the mass and square of the perpendicular distance between two axes. So, this is the theorem of parallel axis. Now, see theorem of perpendicular axis according to this theorem of moment of inertia of a plane lamina, this is a plane lamina about any axis O z about any axis O z perpendicular to perpe, uh, perpendicular to plane lamina is equal to the sum of the moment of inertia of lamina about any two mutually perpendicular axis O x and O y in the plane of the lamina meeting at a point where the given axis O z passes through the lamina. It means total moment of inertia of this plane lamina is equal to we can write here mathematically after just saying the statement here, you can write i z is equal to i x plus i y. So, now see another theorem of moment of inertia here. There is a plane lamina which is lying in the x y plane and there are three axes x y and z. All these are meeting at the point O and now there is a any particle of this plane lamina that is i th particle whose position along the x axis is x i and along the y axis is a y i. And now if i x is the moment of inertia of lamina, lamina means two dimensional body about x about O x i y is the moment of inertia of lamina about O y, then you can write moment of inertia about z axis is i z is equal to i x plus i y. But see here x and y two are mutually perpendicular axes and z 1 is also perpendicular to x and y but all are meeting at the point O. So, O is here the concurrent point. So, the moment of energy about z axis is equal to i x plus i y. So, this is the theorem of perpendicular axis.